UE5 BP Guru. Today we're going to be talking about two very, very useful things that you should be using in your game to um, debug, problem check, and just all of that kind of good stuff with your code. Uh, we're going to open up our variable tutorial. And those two things that we're going to be talking about are print strings and break nodes. They are an invaluable tool in order to check your code is working or you're at least getting the results that you should expect from your code. And I will show you um, an example today, but first of all, let's get this. This is a print string. Now at the moment it says, hello. Um, you can change this to just about anything you want. So for example, we could say, okay, let's close that down a little bit. We could say, um, we have uh, a sprinting mechanism, okay? Very simple bit of code, I know. But for this example, uh, we are just going to do it like this. You shouldn't need to do this, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, so let's say on a, we're pressing the key uh, tab. We're going to tab to sprint. So every time we sprint, we want to check if our sprint boolean here is true or false. So what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, is sprinting and is not sprinting. So that's kind of a very basic example of using uh, print strings. Now you can also print other things out in your print string. So let's say uh, I want to get my forward uh, velocity or um, speed. Uh, we can plug those in like this. We could say, okay, we have this float value, which let's say represents our speed and it will print out that speed. We can print off lots of different things. We could probably print off, what else could we print off? We could print off integers. Those are always a good thing to do. Um, you'll see it in my Pokemon clone game. I also can plug in uh, name values and so it will print off the name. Um, it's very, really, it's really, really useful just for testing to make sure things work. Um, I use it multiple things. So for example, um, when I was doing my battling, I didn't know if I was, uh, missing an attack. So it would just skip to the next part. And I was like, did I miss the attack or is something broken? Uh, so what I did is I, off the false of the accuracy check, I put in a missed move or missed attack so that when I ran my code and I was testing my battling, if I missed the attack, I knew I was actually missing the attack and I wasn't just, um, the code wasn't broken, you know? So very, very useful first item to talk about. The next thing is uh, break nodes. Now you can tap on the branch and press F9. You'll see this red dot appear. You can also right click on the node and uh, add breakpoint like so. Now, what will this do? Well, when you run your code, um, we want to check to see if it's actually firing off that node. So it's, or it's good for functions and things like that to make sure your functions are working. Now, let's see if we can get an example of this working in the game. So what I want to do is, uh, I want to work, I'm going to do it on Nurse Joy. So when I heal, I want to make sure I'm healing, right? So let's open up the blueprint. First of all, the first thing I want to show up is I want it to, at the end, do me a print string that says uh, healing complete. That's the first thing I want it to show me. Uh, let's also add in a breakpoint to make sure it's running something we want to run. Let's look at doing uh, this, creating this dialogue, okay? We want it to stop and tell us that it's going to run this code before it runs the code. Uh, if it bypasses this, this, this breakpoint, it means it's not actioning that node. It's, it's ignoring it. It's just moving on for some reason. So let's press start and let's see it in action. So, oh, did I press it? I did not. Here we go. Let's uh, run off to the left a bit. Okay. Let's go and visit uh, Nurse Joy. 
or Dr. Linetti or whatever you want to call him. So hello, it's let me hear your uh, ring one. And it stops. So we know it's going to run this code. We know it's going to carry on from here and carry on doing everything else. So let's press play. Now it brings up the second message. And at the top left, you probably saw it. It was very quick. It said healing complete. So it shows me that it's also healing my ringmon. So yeah, that's just a very brief example of how to use these um, breakpoints and also these print strings. Um, hopefully this very short tutorial will help you understand uh, where and why you should be using them, but you should be using them a lot. If you aren't using print strings at all and you're not using breakpoints at all, uh, there's something wrong. You, you should be using them constantly uh, to check your code is working as it should. Um, I do it all the time. Unless I know I'm doing something I've done a hundred times, I will be adding a breakpoint or using print strings to uh, check all my code is working every step of the way. So every time I write a few extra nodes, I'll do a print string of some form, or if I'm adding information in somewhere, I'll use a print string to make sure that information is coming through. Uh, I use breakpoints to check the actual code itself. You know, you should be using these a lot, uh, absolutely a lot. And um, I openly encourage you to do it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, leave a little like, leave a little comment with anything else you want me to cover. And of course, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It's free to do. And you can also change your mind down the line. So thank you so much, guys. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.